Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that Indian Navy's indigenous aircraft carrier IS Vikrant is set to be commissioned in the mid of August. Indian Navy is also planning for second indigenous aircraft carrier IAC Vishal. Indian Navy needs 26 fighter jets currently to be operated from its deck which includes 18 single seater and 8 twin seater trainer variant. For this requirement, Indian Navy has two prominent competitors. One is Boeing FA-18 and second one is Dassault's Rafale M. Both these fighters have performed ski jump trials and demonstrated other capabilities to operate from a deck-based aircraft carrier. Both of these fighters have some pros and cons. The two main points that goes against Rafale is its unfoldable wings and no trainer version for the Rafale Marine or Rafale M. The Rafale M has an unfolded wing with wingspan of 10.9 meter which cannot fit into the lift of Vikrant. It can be only fitted with its wing tip removed. However, Boeing's FA-18 can easily fit as it has a foldable wing. Rafale does have a twin seat trainer variant but it cannot be used to operate from deck of an aircraft carrier. While FA-18 has advantage over Rafale with foldable wings that can fit in the lift and has two variants FA-18E single seater and FA-18F twin seat variant both capable of operating from deck of an aircraft carrier, it also has some shortcomings. Optical landing system or OLS also called meat ball which is used to give glide path information to pilots in the terminal phase of landing on an aircraft carrier. If pilot sees a red light at the bottom, it means that aircraft is dangerously low. And if subsequent flashing of red light is activated by the landing signal officer, it indicates pilots to go around for another attempt. The Rafale M can operate with the existing OLS system of IAC Vikrant. However, F-18 cannot and will require modification in the aircraft carrier to operate. Further, due to overall smaller dimension, 14 Rafales can fit on the deck of Vikrant, whereas only 10 or 11 F-18s can fit in there. Now, as per the latest report published in Business Standard, Navy is planning to go ahead with 26 Rafale M, even though Rafale M does not have twin seat trainer variant but this is not being looked as a criteria for disqualification. This could be advantageous for Navy as Air Force is already operating Rafales which will aid in training, operating, weapons package, maintenance, repair and overhaul. However, FA-18 is still cheaper than Rafale and provides seamless interoperability with other American platforms such as Romeo MH-60I helicopters and PATI maritime reconnaissance aircraft which are being operated by Indian Navy. All these platforms are connected via NATO standard Link 16 data voice and video links. It would be very interesting to see who will win the deal for 26 fighter jets for Indian Navy deck based operation as the FA-18 and Rafale are going neck to neck. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.